Before coming to Korea, you know, your preconceptions, what were you expecting? I'm curious how that's different from actually living here. I am a uh, half Japanese, so when I arrived there as a student uh, a couple years ago, I was kind of like trying to find the little thing, oh, Japan is better on, for this, and it was, I was really trying to find a way to dislike Korea, to say, oh, you know, Japan is better for that, and it's better for that, oh, 7-Eleven, oh, we have the same in Japan and everything. And actually, yeah, the more I stayed here, the more I realized that, oh, actually, things are nicer here. The, the cafe culture, the streets, uh, wow. vibe and everything, so. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sean. So in this video, we hit the streets of Seoul, here in Hongdae and in Shincheon, asking foreigners living here and traveling here, what are some preconceptions they had before coming to Korea? Things they saw in dramas, Googled, things they heard from friends, and how do these preconceptions actually compare to being here? Also, if you guys are currently studying English and you want a structured way to learn, I recently launched my course, 미국인 전에 살아있는 영어. If you're interested, wait till the end of the video and I'll give you more information. Without further ado, let's begin. Hey guys, what's going on? What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Antoine, I'm from France. And my name is Clem and I'm from France too. How long have you been in Korea? We've been here for about two years now. Yes. Yeah, two years. We've been together, we were a couple. Bing, bing. <laughs> well, that was very synchronized, that's good. <laughs> we are. <all laughs> yeah. Why Why did you come to Korea? What brought you here? We just wanted to live in uh, in Asia, in a nice, uh, nice country. And uh, we've both been to, to Korea before as a tourist separately. And we just really loved it so much that we said, oh yeah, let's do a uh, working holiday visa here and just have a good time. So you did a bunch of traveling solo and then you guys met each other and you were talking, hey, let's, let's experience this as a couple. Yeah. And you decided on Korea. Yes. That's really cool. Before coming to Korea, you know, your preconceptions, what were you expecting? I'm curious how that's different from actually living here. I had no expectation of Korea, like culturally or anything, just like what I've seen from those movies only. Like old boy and uh, mother and the wailing and like all of these like, creepy movies. And that was my experience. <laughs> And I was like, I want to see the countryside. I want to see scary stuff. And so I was expecting more of like a southeastern country. So Southeastern Asia. Exactly. Yeah. So when I arrived, I was really prepared like for, I was expecting jungle and like I arrived in Incheon. So I was with my backpack and I was like, okay, let's go to the to the main city. It was just like a one hour like subway ride. I was like, oh, okay. So yeah. I should have brought some clothes actually yeah. and not just like tech wear. <laughs> yeah. So you didn't need all that sunscreen, that machete to cut down the Anti -leech grass. Anti-leech stuff and everything. Anti-leech oh. stuff. You didn't I, need it. No, yeah. I didn't. I, I even had, the, like, you know, the pouch like you put under the clothes and everything that some people gifted me. They were like, oh, you're going to Korea. Like what is going on? Because like no one knew in my family. And sure. coming here, just had a really good time of just hanging out and like the cafe culture and everything was so lovely. Like, okay, it wasn't like the tropical, like dangerous jungle trip I was expecting for some reason. But I really enjoyed it. I was like, oh, we will love it together because you didn't have that the same no. experience as me no. too. For me, it was a bit different because I am a uh, half Japanese. So when I arrived there as a student uh, a couple years ago, I was kind of like trying to find the little thing, oh, Japan is better on for this. And it was, I was really trying to find a way to dislike Korea, to say, oh, you know, Japan is better for that. And it's better for that. Oh, 7-Eleven, oh, we have the same in Japan and everything. And actually, yeah, the more I stayed here, the more I realized that, oh, actually, things are nicer here. The, the cafe culture, the streets, uh, wow. vibe and everything. So I think I like Korea now more than I like Japan. That is so interesting. What made you just want to compare those two? Is there like some competition? Like, I guess. Japan is better. No, Korea is better. Yeah, I guess, you know, there's historically always been like some kind of a tension thing yeah. between the between the two, the two of them. Tension, yeah, yeah, some kind of tension. War. Some call it war, yeah, yeah or conversation, <laughs> exactly. but yeah. <laughs> and so I guess there was a part of pride in me, like, oh, I'm, I'm Japanese, I arrive here and I will try to find all the negative things about Korea. And I couldn't find that many of them. So you I like, failed on your quest. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Shame of the nation. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So you speak English, obviously. Do you speak? You speak French. Do you speak Japanese as well? No, just a little. Just a little bit. Just okay. a little bit. Okay. Okay. Hey, what's going on? What's your name? Where are you from? Hey, I'm Henry. My friends call me Henry the Drip. The Drip is my name, and Let's I'm get that from. Drip on. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. How long have you been in Korea? I've just been here like three or four days and I'm leaving tomorrow. Sadly, I should have planned way more time to stay here because the city is way more fun than I imagined it to be. I broke up with my girlfriend back home and I said, F it, I'm going to, I'm going to Asia. Just like a 
crazy new adventure. Absolutely. To start fresh. Yeah, I think that when you travel by yourself, you really get the opportunity to kind of set your own schedule and set your watch to the time of the universe. You know, get get in tune with the the place that you're at and not have to worry about anyone else's schedule or when anyone else has to eat. You just do what you want to do. So that's what I'm doing. I'm out here traveling by myself. Heard that. Well, what surprised me the most is I find myself socializing with a lot of people that are from outside of Korea instead of the actual Koreans. I met like a whole group of international people the first night I was out here. They kind of throw party nights with a bunch of, inter- there's like 20 international people. I found that talking to Korean people is a lot more difficult than I expected. People are really shy here um, when it comes to socializing. So I've, I was hanging out with Germans and a lot of other people from different countries more. And it's, it's surprising how international the city is, yeah. for sure. And I find it super interesting that when you're on the subway, it's like completely silent. Yeah. No one is talking to each other. People are just going about their business. Definitely a lot less loud and rambunctious than where I'm from. People are much more respectful and kind and yeah. uh, at least like a general level of respect. Hey guys, how's it going? What's your name? Where are you from? Hi, uh, I'm Selene. I'm from France. And my name is Camille. I'm from Belgium. The atmosphere is good. People are nice. Food is good. Yeah. Everything, like the streets are the same as in the K-dramas, I yeah. guess. And so, also in the same building, you have different stuff. Yeah, also. Yeah, these big buildings, right? Big and you, buildings, and you have, uh, you can go to the hairdresser or you can go to the cafe, but it's the same building. Yeah, cafe, foot doctor, yeah. hairdresser, yeah. yeah. It's, it's great. Internet provider, yeah. <laughs> Very convenient, yeah. Mm, yeah. Is that not the same in Belgium? No, not at all. Uh, in Belgium, uh, one building, one purpose. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. I'm very happy to yeah, be yeah. here. <laughs> hey, how's it going? What's your name? Where are you from? Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Ludmila and I come from France. I'm a full undergraduate from Yonsei University. Yeah. How long have you been in Korea? Uh, two years, actually. I came to South Korea with my older sister that have already been in South Korea like oh, yeah? for already a few years. So I kind of knew of what to expect because like there is a bit a culture gap between the friends and the Korean one. Sure. So obviously people are more like poker face, like they yeah. don't show really, like their expression and in France we do it a lot and also the street and everything. Whenever I meet Korean, it's like I can't, I get friends with Korean that are, went overseas. Like they at least travel to a foreign country, and it's much easier to get friends with them. That Korean that always stay in Korea. Why do you think that is? Uh, I don't know. Like maybe they're more close-minded. Like they have like expectation is so different. Like there's a big gap between those that went to a foreign country and those that didn't. Yeah. They know how to approach foreigners better. Okay. It's like their approach of foreigners like less close-minded than Korean. Okay. Yeah, and also like I saw my older sister. She's also working in a Korean cosmetic company, and right now she's so much struggling. Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Where are you from? Hi, I'm Gemma. I'm from England. Jungkook Namja, the Korean Englishman, is he famous in England? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them. Yeah, the channel, I watch it a lot. Oh, yeah? It- I think actually it's so much better than we expected. I was a little bit worried about how we'd be received. I know some of the cultural aspects are a bit different, so we researched a lot around that before we came. Um, but actually, everyone's been so welcoming, so helpful. Um, and everyone will like talk to you and it's been so much better than we thought it was going to be. What, what were you worried about exactly? I'm curious. I just heard that some people would have some negative experiences um, or like maybe not being allowed into certain places or kind of they felt that they were looked at or judged a bit more. Stared at. Yeah, but I think our experience has been entirely positive and everyone's been so nice to us. <laughs> <It's> easy. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name is Ili. I'm from uh, Amsterdam, Netherlands. What are you doing in Korea? Uh, currently, I'm just visiting, um, just uh, sightseeing, going around. I'm with two friends from uh, Amsterdam. Have you ever been to Korea before? Yeah, actually, I spent uh, half a year here studying at Chungang University before COVID. I'm currently living in uh, Shanghai, yes. So it's interesting, maybe now you can compare your experience in Korea and Shanghai. I feel like Korea is a bit more uh, westernized uh, yeah. in a way uh, obviously it's it's been more open to the world in a sense but shanghai is definitely international as well there's a lot of stuff that you can find here it's over there as well but in china like you can't use youtube you can't use facebook is that true like how do you go about your life in china without the use of these really important like websites mm-hmm. and apps it's true it's true that you cannot use them 
but it's also true that you can use them using a VPN. So um, everybody does that. Yeah, I would say everyone knows about it. I'm not sure if everyone does it, but yeah, I, I do use a VPN. And uh, even Chinese people. I don't want to call out anyone, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get your friends in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. No, I mean everyone knows about it and they use it and they get access to these websites. But it's just not. They have their own thing, you know. They have really they have their own world, like WeChat and Bilibili. Bili. All these things are maybe even bigger than, than YouTube and Instagram itself. So I feel like they don't really need those things. Hey guys, how's it going? What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name is Lizette and I'm from the US. My name's Kaylee and I'm from the US also. Cool. Where in the US are you guys from? I'm from California. Yeah. I'm from Virginia. Like at school specifically, like we notice that there's people that brush their teeth yeah. in the bathroom. Yeah. And uh, like at my university, that doesn't happen. Yeah, <laughs> so, like I, after they eat or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and the hair rollers oh, yeah, everywhere. Hair rollers, yeah. yeah, it's definitely different. <laughs> hair rollers everywhere, like on the subway, like. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like back home. It's like kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Here they have no shame, but I mean I love it. So. Or they yeah. get ready like while um, they're on the bus, and that's normalized. Whereas I think back home, I don't think that'd be as normalized. <laughs> I'm curious, like why would that be embarrassing? And back home, like you either go out like without makeup already or you just don't go out or <laughs> like I think it's just like more set in stone like what you want to do as opposed to like do I guess like doing it while you're going in the middle yeah. <laughs> and I think also some people back home are like a little bit more judgy about it here yeah. I feel like they don't care too much because I think the beauty standard here is pretty high so yeah. it's not a big deal uh, back home people care like They'll, they'll definitely judge you the wrong way. Like, they'll be like, oh, what do you need to get ready for? Like, you're trying too hard. Yeah, yeah. 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 What do you guys do here? I'm a baker. Baker? Yeah, I'm a baker. And I'm a developer. I kind of guessed that. I don't know. <laughs> Just the glasses, the... Sorry. <laughs> She's a half developer as well. Yeah, I'm a developer okay, too. So you're also the glasses. Yeah, the well, glasses. You know. Do you see yourself, like, living in Korea long term? We don't want to spend our life here because I think the working culture and the school thing is, like, a big negative for us. It's stressful. Yes, and we, we want to have a kid at some point, so we don't feel like raising him yeah. or her in Korea. Yeah. So... We're just thinking about it. For now, we're just going vibing. with the flow. Yeah, just vibing, enjoying. Vibing. Yeah, just vibing. as long as we can stay, we're staying here. And when we'll have to leave, we'll leave. For now, we don't want to leave, so let's just not leave and stay. Let's not leave. That's yeah. our mindset. Is let's not leave. Cool. You should definitely come to Korea if you should definitely come to Korea if you want to experience a culture that's different than yours. See some awesome temples. If you're trying to travel on a budget. You shouldn't come to Korea if... You shouldn't come to Korea if you're a racist. No, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't I have no idea. You should... Everyone should come to Korea. Hi. Hi, <laughs> we got a friend here. How are you doing? <laughs> Hi. Hey, how's it going? Hello. What is this? Just a street interview about oh, your life in Korea. Okay. You should Want to join? Okay, okay, okay. We, got, we got a new friend here. Where are you from? Spain. Spain. Hola. Yes. All right. Hola. <laughs> so you got Belgium, Spain, France. You guys speak together in English, in I guess. English. Yes. I like Korean culture. I really like it. But I feel like they are really reserved. Okay. So they have their own groups, their their own culture, and no one else can enter in their groups. Like go away. <laughs> so why did you originally come to Korea? I I wanted to come to Asia, and I was like between Japan and Korea. And finally I picked Korea and I think it's really interesting to yeah. come here and live here but not for a living like for a long time. Sure. For five months it's it's okay. I know in Korea you have like this uh, period cramp uh, break like uh, you know when you can take a break for Korean cr uh, cramp. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the thing is like it's super not well seen to take it as a, anyone, as a worker, so no one take it, but this is like a right, you can just take it and yeah. enjoy your break. So in France we don't have no. the period cramps break, so coming here like knowing we can take a break from that's so like this is so amazing, just take it, enjoy it, this. What if what if what if girls are just like oh period cramps? Oh, How do you know when they're girl. like uh, being honest? You don't you don't I don't know <laughs> you're not you honest. You already said that once this week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could you see yourself living here long term? Honestly, I don't think so. <laughs> I think I miss my home too much to like be fully integrated here. But I would consider it maybe like for a year or two. My family's from Mexico, so they're more of a collectivist culture. Um, so I feel like it's a bit different, like those like social connections, where you get to know the person more, or like just have more, I guess like. Uh, intimate family gatherings or like even with friends yeah. um, and I don't see myself doing that here as much um, so, and I also 
do it as Mexican food. <laughs> I think they just don't do it the same here. So. They could never, I mean. Yeah, yeah, obviously. I don't think there's anything wrong here, but I do. There's, just, there's <laughs> do. just a closeness. Yeah, exactly. With Mexican culture, like hugs and like... This yeah, type of thing. yeah, yeah. I've heard people say that before. Mm -hmm, yeah, exactly. Like, definitely, I don't see like the way I interact with like my Mexican friends back home, how I interact with my friends here, the same. So when I first came to Korea, I didn't speak any Korean. I had to teach myself Korean. I started learning how to read and write. Then I learned the 100 most commonly used verbs in Korean. You know things like 먹다, 하다, 쓰다, these kinds of verbs. I eventually started listening to easy conversations, easy dialogues in Korean. And let me tell you, this was the most helpful thing I did. If you're learning English, it's really important to listen to real conversations where you can hear useful expressions, useful words, useful grammar, and natural pronunciation. That's why I made 천에 살아있는 영어. I came up with a list of extremely useful conversational English questions, answers to these questions, and other expressions. I explain all of these expressions in detail in Korean. I give you several example sentences showing you how to use the expressions. And then, this is the best part, I go out into the streets and interview extremely fluent and native English speakers using these expressions so you can see in real time living, breathing English, how it's used and how to respond naturally to everything. This is the course I wish I had when I was studying Korean. This course is perfect for people preparing for working holiday, studying abroad, traveling abroad, meeting foreign friends, meeting your foreign romantic partner's family. So far, people are loving it. To see a free sample lesson, click the link down below. All right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you're interested in my course, check out my website. You can get a free sample, a free mat boogie lesson. Click the link down below. All right, guys, once again, I'm Sean, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.